I'm Jan Miesely from Jan Miesely. I have a few exciting announcements about some upcoming content here on the Jan Miesely channel. I recently released the Conline Critic episode about English. We're now rapidly approaching the end of Conline Critic Season 3, so what's next? Well, as I announced at the end of the English episode, the next and final episode in Conline Critic Season 3 will be about Quenya, a language created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Unlike previous season finale episodes of Conline Critic, the Quenya episode will not contain an announcement of what languages will be reviewed in the upcoming season. The reason for this is that I want to give everyone a bit of extra time to request languages for Season 4. Requests for Conline Critic Season 4 will officially close on February 23rd, 2021. Any requests made after that point will not be taken into consideration until Season 5. However, if you miss the deadline, or if a language you requested doesn't make the cut, don't worry. Season 4 will be half the length of previous seasons, with 6 episodes instead of 12. That way I'll get through this small list and onto the next one much more quickly than usual. Now I'd like to spend some time outlining my process for selecting what languages to cover on Conline Critic, since it's changed significantly in the 4 years I've been doing this show. In Season 4, I will be reviewing the 6 most requested eligible Conlangs. Once I've determined what 6 are the most requested, with requests from Patreon supporters counted slightly more heavily, I will then decide myself what order they should go in, trying to put them in an order that will keep things interesting. Ah, but what counts as eligible? This is the part that's changed the most. Here are my requirements. 1. Conlang Critic is for conlangs only. No standardized natural languages, reconstructed languages, or revitalized languages. Of course, there are several edge cases, but I generally go by whatever the consensus is among the community surrounding the language if one exists, and barring that the way the language is described by its creator or creators. 2. It has to be Googleable. I gotta be able to type the name of the language into Google, maybe with conlang after it, and find something that verifies that it exists. These two restrictions used to be my only restrictions, but I've since added a few more. 3. If the creator of a conlang Lang or someone representing them specifically reaches out to me to tell me not to make a video about their language, I won't do it. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. 4. No more reviews of languages made by non-notable conlangers whose work I've already covered. If it's from someone who's notable enough for Wikipedia, then sure, but otherwise I don't want to make multiple videos about stuff made by the same person. And 5. No tutorial conlangs. This is a special category of conlangs that aren't really made to stand on their own, but as examples designed to teach people how conlanging works. A video reviewing a tutorial conlang would really just be reviewing the tutorial it was made for, and I don't want to do that. So, after February 23rd, I will tally up all requests anyone has ever made for a conlang for me to review, rule out all the ineligible ones, pick the top six, put them in an interesting order, and announce that order as the six languages I'll review in Conlang Critic Season 4. Well, that's all for Conlang Critic news. Look forward to the finale of Season 3 later this month, and stay tuned for more updates about conlang content here on the Jan Measley channel. Now for something I had nothing to do with. The Hangman Jam, a game jam inspired by my video essay about Hangman, will be happening from November 12th to December 11th. Not very many people have joined yet, which I think needs to be corrected. If you're into game design, you're going to want to check this out. I already announced this at the end of Overture, my post-cringe mashup of Kumikyoku Niko Neko Doga, but not only did most people who saw that video abandon it well before getting to the end, it was also the first video I've put out in a while that's resulted in a net loss of subscribers. That said, I'm excited to warn you that my third album, Disambiguation, will be premiering here on YouTube on December 14th, 2020. If you're someone who actively dislikes the music I make for this channel, you will be disappointed to learn that this will be my longest album yet, thanks to a few rather lengthy mashups I've made since releasing my last album, Latin Extended D. You're statistically likely to be completely disgusted by the haphazard mix of mashups like Cascadancin, original chiptune tracks like Sangman as featured in Hangman is a Weird Game, and cover songs like the heavily requested full version of Kulupu Yan Tempo, the Conlang Critic Season 3 end theme. The complete lack of any singular genre ensures that even if you like some of my music, there will be some that you do not like. Be sure to steer clear of conlangcritic.bandcamp.com, where Disambiguation will be available to download for just $1, a great way to support my content for anyone who who can't commit to a monthly subscription on Patreon. I also regretfully must inform you that mainstream music platforms will not be safe, as a more limited version of Disambiguation without the mashups will begin showing up everywhere music is sold without human supervision some unspecified amount of time after the initial release on YouTube, Bandcamp, and SoundCloud. You have been warned. December 14th. Be sure to miss it. On May 8th, 2017, I announced that I would begin a new series, one where I create languages inspired by conlangs with ideas I like that I think could have been done better. And after years of waiting, I can now finally say that Retconlang Season 1 is coming soon. The first season of Retconlang will focus on the creation of a speculative future version of English, and it will begin in January 2021. For real this time. 
Brett Conlang will join Conlang Critic as a regular series for this channel, mixed in with the completely unpredictable hodgepodge of content you've grown tolerant of. Each episode of Brett Conlang will document my process creating that season's Conlang, with a new episode coming whenever I've made enough progress to justify a new video. The season ends when I get the language to a point where I'm happy with it, or when I stop enjoying working on it and want to abandon it and start something else. Whatever happens first. I'm not quite sure how often you should expect me to put out new episodes of Retcon Lang. It depends on how well it's received and also just how much I enjoy making it. For those of you who haven't figured it out yet, that's the common thread connecting everything I do for this channel. I make things that I think I would enjoy making. It's a really great way to go about making things. I highly recommend it. And in all seriousness, it's all of you who make it so that I can just make whatever I want. There's like a hundred thousand of you who saw the complete mess of a channel I have going and decided you'd want to see more like it. I mean, that's amazing. Thank you so much. I'd say I was speechless, but I have one more thing to announce. Coming next year, 12 days of Sona Pitoki Pona, two! <laughs> In 2021, I will be remaking my Tokipona lesson course, the series that got me started with making videos about conlings. Most people don't know this, but that series was made over the course of 12 days, with each episode being written, recorded, and edited within the day that it went up. It was part of an annual tradition that I started in 2013, when I was 15 years old. A new 12 Days of Something series every year, making 12 videos in 12 days. I never expected that anyone would ever watch it. I had less than 100 subscribers at the time, so it was really just something that I was making for myself so I could get better at making videos. Well, now my Togepona lesson course is one of the most common ways people are learning Togepona, and I feel like I kind of owe it to the Togepona community to try again, and like, not spend only one day on each video this time. Even saying I spent a whole day on each video is generous, I think on average it took me maybe two hours to get each video from what will this lesson be about to uploading it. Well, that's all the announcements I have for you today. Conlang Critic Quenya in November, Disambiguation in December, Rec Conlang in January, the small list for Conlang Critic Season 4 in February, and Tokipona Revisited sometime in 2021. I don't know about you, but I'm a bit excited. <laughs>